it's Tracy and I am back with day 16 of Ethany's 31 days of tarot and the day 16 prompt is have I ever turned someone from a tarot non-believer to a tarot enthusiast I have given this question a lot of thoughts today and I am going to say no I have not <laughs> and I'm going to say that we're, we're, well before I explain why I say no I have not I'm going to let's talk about definitions um, what do I think a tarot non-believer is versus a tarot enthusiast and to me, a tarot non-believer is someone who does not believe in any possibility that a person can use cards with pictures on them as a way to communicate a message to another person without there being some underhanded charlatanness involved. To me, that's a non-believer. Um, whereas to me, an enthusiast is someone who A, consumes a lot of tarot information and media and follows multiple tarot readers and someone who maybe even has their own tarot deck and someone who um, is interested in learning to read tarot or at the very least learning to figure out how tarot works. Um, to me, that's an enthusiast. And I don't think you, you, I don't, I don't think, I could be wrong, I don't think a person can get from my definition of a non-believer being someone who does not believe in the possibility that tarot is a working mechanism to someone who not only believes that tarot is a working mechanism, but they, that, but, and they are, um, enthusiastic about tarot and learning more about tarot and consuming tarot related content. Um, while I have been reading tarot for three years now, three years now, um, In the amount of time that I've been reading tarot, I've only been reading for others less than a year. Yeah, less than a year. Um, the first two years, I only read for myself. <clears throat> Unless it was in a class environment where you're swapping readers in a learning um, capacity. That's different. Um, so that's why I do not believe that I personally have gotten someone from a non-believer to an enthusiast because I have not been reading for others. I have my, I've only been doing, um, readings on my YouTube channel for a couple of months and I don't think that that is enough time to get someone from a non-believer to an enthusiast. I think that to get from a non-believer to an enthusiast requires having a lot of one-on-one -on -one personal experience with tarot, um, personal experience with a tarot reader where that reader is on a somewhat regular basis helping you to problem solve in your own life using tarot as a tool. Um, and it 
will take more than one or two readings for that to happen. Because if you are a non-believer, how do you even get to the point where you are working with a tarot reader to begin with? Um, first of all, like if you are a non-believer and you go to someone who's like some form of coach or just even just a friend, and that person is a tarot reader and you go to them with this problem that you want them to help you solve and to work through, when that person pulls out tarot cards, as a non-believer, you're kind of like, you know what, can we just not do this tarot thing? And so then the, the tarot reader is going to have to kind of work you up to being comfortable with her or him using tarot cards to begin with. And that just takes time. It doesn't happen in a few weeks. Um, so that's why I feel like I have not taken someone from non-believer to enthusiast. Now, what I will say that is that I feel like I've taken people from tarot skeptic to tarot believer. And to me, the difference is that as a tarot skeptic, you are open to the idea that divination tools could possibly be a working tool without any backhanded, underhanded, charlatan behavior involved. You actually are open to the idea that tarot could be a working thing. You just haven't been exposed to it or experienced it as a working thing. And if you're coming from a place where you're just skeptical, but you believe it's possible, it's 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 easier to get you to believe to from skeptic to believer by just having a positive tarot reading experience. So that is my response to day what day are we on? Day sixteen. <laughs> in our 31 days of tarot with the lovely, ever so lovely, Ethany. Um, so I would love to hear your ideas around um, being a tarot non-believer or a tarot skeptic or a tarot believer. And if you somehow happen across this video because sometimes YouTube does that. It just puts things in your feed and you're like, why on earth is this in my feed? So if this video has ended up in your feed and you have no idea of why, I really want to know where you are on the tarot spectrum. Are you a non-believer, a skeptic, a believer, or are you already an enthusiast? Because we love tarot enthusiasts too. Um, in the meantime, in between time, have a great day and I will see you next time.